and welcome to the Youth Corner Show with C. Tampago. Today I am joined in studio by the lovely Linati Ngoyeni and I am so <laughs> excited to have this interview with her. She has done so many things, a phenomenal lady mm -hmm. and I'm excited for your journey in the music industry. You're going to make waves. Ole Ngoyeni is a bubbly 26-year-old from East London, currently residing in Gabeja. She has competed in multiple competitions. She won the Ultimate Performer in 2014. From 2017, she started to do gigs around Port Elizabeth, which included performing at the annual bridal fair as a boardwalk on a yearly basis. In 2018, she performed at the biggest event in Port Elizabeth, which was the Mr. P.E. pageant, also known as Mr. Uberman. In 2019, she competed in a jazz scholarship at NMMU and was awarded the best vocalist in the entire competition. She has graduated in 2020 with a diploma in music. Linati received the opportunity from the International Performing Arts to go overseas in Greece to perform at a hotel and have great opportunity to meet other well-known musicians. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it was sadly cancelled. In 2021, Linati had decided to enter Idol South Africa, which has over 15,000 entries. She is the proud holder of the golden ticket and she is extremely proud to be one. It's an amazing opportunity and she is so thrilled with joy and excitement about her future and what's to come. She is currently working on her new music which will come out soon. Woo! I am so excited for that and I definitely think our listeners are too. This year is all about achieving dreams and not letting fear run our world. As dreams cannot go where I'm heading, as Queen B has stated. The world is filled with endless possibilities and Linati is yet to reach her peak. So ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the gorgeous and phenomenal Linati to Agape FM. <laughs> I'm really, really good. Thank you. And how are you? I'm great. It's That's so great. exciting to see how your journey is, you know, starting to pick up and get into the direction that you wanted to get to. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Oh, no. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love to hear what you have to say with the questions. And I definitely think that the viewers and the listeners will find it extremely insightful. Yeah. So, Linati, you have ventured into music, and I believe that your life has centered around music. Where did that inspiration come from? So, for me, my inspiration came from my parents, my family, you know. Um, my dad's mom, my gran, she mm -hmm. is, yo, oh, she's an amazing vocalist, and even when she grew up, she was in the choir, and most of the time she was the lead singer. And because I think, because of her love of music, she taught my dad and his siblings, you know, how to play instruments, how to sing as well. So being raised um, up in that kind of family setting, you know, uh, oh, I was forced, but not like in a bad way, but it was just, it was so The natural, The, the you know? environment that yeah. you were around was very musically yeah. influenced, so Absolutely. you also took a liking to it. Absolutely. And I think it kind of suited my personality yes. because I'm a very bubbly, very loud, dramatic, mm. you know, charismatic person and I just fell in love with music from a really young, young age and just, you know, even watching certain people that I've, that I've always looked up to, Michael yeah. Jackson, Beyonce, Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, you know, Brenda Farsi, oh yeah. my gosh, you know, all of those big, big um, names. Um, I've always grown around those people, so I think my parents really, they really just inspired me, honestly mm -hmm. speaking. Definitely. Yeah. And it's so nice that 
you've already been surrounded by people who are musically influenced so it's kind of like you are getting into this industry yeah. with like the passion Absolutely. you know Absolutely. because some people just do things just to do just it, to do it yeah. but with you it's like you've got the passion you've got the background so mm -hmm. it's something that freely just comes from you and through your personality as well absolutely yeah no really it's really just been that and it's a blessing yes definitely i can't say everyone has this gift yeah and even if maybe they do have it um i don't think everyone can pursue it mm. for me i take this very seriously i think i'm highly blessed definitely you know, to be able to pursue it yeah, yeah. So, when you were younger, um, what was the turning point where you wanted to pursue studying mm -hmm. um, music as a career choice? Mm -hmm. I remember uh, in high school I used to perform a lot in mm -hmm. concerts and really anything in school. And it got to a point where when we were in matric, we were asked, okay guys, each of us, what do you guys want to study? You know. Yeah. So we had this one uh, lecturer or professor that just asked us, and each of us told her what we wanted to do. And for me, I wasn't sure if I could really pursue music. Yes, I knew I had the love and the passion for it. Definitely. But I just wasn't sure if there was an actual career because being in the arts field in the entertainment industry is very difficult. Yeah. You know, and I think opportunities to actually study on it are only coming up now in the last couple of years. Yes. But um, unfortunately, for some people, they don't see it as a proper or serious career. Yeah, I was, so, I was just about to get to that yeah. point that people don't see the arts as mm -hmm. a way to make money. Absolutely. And I feel like they only say that because they aren't really knowledgeable of what the industry can bring for yes. a person. Yes. yes, it's very tough, especially coming from Port Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. There's not many opportunities that you can find. Mm -hmm. But I definitely believe that if it's something that you want to achieve and it's your passion, you're going to push by all means and create those opportunities for yourself as you have done yeah. by entering Idol South mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like people need to just be knowledgeable yes. about the entertainment and the music industry. It's yeah. not only out they would say it's it's, it's a poverty career yes, 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 it's yes, definitely yes. not there's yeah. so many opportunities so and many. things that you can do yeah i absolutely agree and it's just literally about you deciding what you want to do because just because you love music doesn't mean you have to be a singer yeah you can be a producer yeah or you don't have to um for example make your own music you can do covers a lot of people on youtube are doing yes. that being well known you know, for things like that as yeah. well. Uh, you can be a sound engineer. There's really so many things. You can even you can be, be a songwriter. You can be a songwriter. You don't have to sing yourself. And yeah. you can sell your songs. And that's another way to have your income, you know? Mm. So I think a lot of a lot of uh, people are now realizing how many opportunities are actually out there. And so for me, I had to decide, babes, is it music or is it business? Yeah. And the business, business is something that I'm interested in too. Definitely. Yeah because my family also comes from that background. But music is my thing. That's yes. my baby. That's where Lynn comes out and she becomes herself. Yes. And I had to make the decision between the two. And I decided, you know what, let me do music. But yeah. even at that point, my parents were like, baby girl, we love you, we know you, mm. we support you. Whatever you want to do, that's what you need to do. So if you want to mm. do music, we are fully behind you. Mm. So I cannot lie and say I made a decision by myself. No, mm. it wasn't easy. But the fact that my parents were, you know, behind me 100%, that made it easier. And I'm really grateful for that as well. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And I mean, in terms of business, you can always do business at a later stage. That's my thing. Always pursue your passion yeah. first. Yeah. And then business, business is always going to be there. Yes. You're always going to have that opportunity to get into that market. Yeah. So. I mean, you can even make music your business. Oh, absolutely. So, in yeah. that respect, you're mashing both of your passions yes. into one. Yes, Especially when you're well-established. Yeah. I think it kind of makes things easier. Yeah. You know, uh, certain brands will reach out to you because they want to work with you. Yeah. So, you get opportunities in that way. So, exposure is a beautiful thing. Mm. You need to use it to your advantage. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And 
you've mentioned that you have competed in many different shows. Yeah. Do you ever feel nervous or the pressure of performing and how you're going to perform and what people are going to think about your performance? Absolutely. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I get nervous all the time. And the thing is about me, I'm a very anxious person. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of anxiety, so sometimes I overthink things. And that can block you sometimes. But I've learned that this is it for me. This is what I wanted to do. So I don't have a choice. My anxiety must keep quiet and let me do what I need to do. Yeah. So definitely when it comes to when I have to perform at an event, I make sure that I put in the time and the work you know, when it comes to rehearsals and yes. getting my, my, my performance right, you know. But definitely you do wonder sometimes what people are really going to think of you. Um, a lot of people may see me and look at me and think, okay, she looks, she's this kind of girl. You know, she's a slay queen uh, or whatever, and she's probably, that's all she's about. When there's actually so much to me, mm -hmm. it's not just the looks. I'm blessed to have that, yes, but there's a lot to me. Than there's, just about there's layers. That. There's layers, exactly. So when people get to look at me and then they get to hear me, it's like, whoa, okay. I've had so many people come up to me and be like, you know, I didn't know you were such a nice person. Or I didn't think you'd be this kind of person or uh, personality is really surprising to there's me. There's always that there's negative something. connotation of pretty yes. girls. Yes, definitely. Which definitely. is definitely. not true. Yeah, it's not true. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, whether you are someone who is thought to be pretty or you are just maybe a normal person, I feel at the end of the day you're human. Yeah. So there's going to be amazing qualities about you whether people acknowledge that or not. You have to know yourself well enough to appreciate that. And to always just trust that the good side of you will always be seen. Definitely. Yeah, so actions will speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. So maybe if someone looks at me and thinks that I'm mean, they'll see with my actions that actually she's not. She's, not she's a cutie. Actually. She's a cutie! <laughs> and a dramatic girl, and all that and loud, but you know, that, that comes after. Yeah. yeah. So definitely the nerves do kick in a lot mm -hmm. of the time, but you have to learn to to um, maneuver around that and make it work. Yes. Yeah. So when you were studying your diploma in music, mm -hmm. what challenges did you face during that journey? Um, I feel like one of the, the biggest challenges I faced was that in studying music, specifically at the university, I, I realized there's only two um, genres that they offer. Okay. Which is classical music and jazz. Okay. Now, I've never been a classical singer, although sometimes if I try and hit a certain note, it seems like I can. Yeah. But I'm not really a classical singer. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I want to do by profession. There's okay. people who are brilliant at it, and it's a beautiful genre. But I don't think it's for everyone. And then when it comes to jazz as well, I think, yes, I'm definitely more of a jazzy vocalist. But more than that, I'm, I'm more R&B. So I, one of my challenges was really um, wanting to make sure that I'm singing what I want to sing, but always being told to sing what needs to be sung according to the syllabus. You yeah. Know? So I really just would wish that in the future, a lot more people, or a lot more genres could be catered for, for a lot more you know, people. So mm -hmm. people can decide if they want to sing pop. You know, they need to learn about pop if they want to sing jazz they do that if they want to sing about hip-hop, if, if they want to rap, you know, because people are different at the end of the day. So I think it's really important to cater to what people would also like to do. Because if I'm not a classical singer, I don't know how I'm going to hit those notes. Yeah. You know, or if I'm not a jazz singer, how do I scat if I've been trained classically mm -hmm. or I've been trained in another way? So that was one of my biggest challenges, uh, trying to decide which side I'm on. But okay. I think other people might have might have felt the same way. But mm. um, any other challenges that I faced? Um, no, I can't really think of much. I mean, school is school. It's difficult <laughs> for everyone. Yes. You get those exams and you're like, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to say here. Yes. But we're gonna go through with it, you know. So school is school. It's difficult. It's nice. It's it's all different kinds of things for different people. Mm. But. Um, it was a good experience. But one, sorry, sorry, one day I'd definitely like to do it again. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe that since NMU doesn't really have 
a lot of genres you can skill go into. Do you think that their 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 department mm -hmm. there's room for people to do other genres? Yeah. Like for example, if maybe a group of students would go to the HOD mm -hmm. of music yeah. and speak and say that we are not classically trained or trained for jazz as per se, but we want to venture into another avenue, maybe rock music, mm. maybe gospel music. Exactly. Is there a way to maneuver the mm. curriculum for that? I think it's difficult to do. Yeah. It's difficult to do because I think, to be honest, the system is old. Yeah. It's not allowing for what's happening right now. Yes. What is relevant right now. So I would say it would be difficult to actually be able to do that unfortunately but there are people in the department certain lecturers that I really look up to mm -hmm. for example Dr. Hall Smith who is my absolute favorite and um, I really believe that with his uh, leadership a lot of changes you know could happen he has always done so much yes. in the last three maybe four years he's been here and mm -hmm. I, I really respect him as a person and as, as a music as a muso <laughs> I respect him so much. Mm -hmm. So I think with certain people who are able to think differently and out of the box, a lot can be done in the future. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely. Step by step. Step by step. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So when you started singing, I mean, you maybe started singing at home, at school as well. Did you have any extra training? to prepare your voice or to prepare you for the type of genre you want to get into or was it just the thing of you love singing and you're going to go for it i did get a little bit of training um i think in high school yeah but it only lasted maybe a month mm -hmm. yeah maybe a month um but mostly it's just been me listening to music loving it and say, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. I want to sound like that. Okay, let me see, like, oh, she does a little, yeah. How do I say it? She does, um, it's, it's at the tip of my tongue. Uh, what can I say? Uh, she hits those notes, for yeah. example, you know, or she does those exercises, uh. for example. Um, so then, okay, cool. I like what she did there. I like how she was, you know, the falsetto, or she just, her tone is different. Um, yeah, a vibrato, for example. So I've literally watched people perform, watched them sing, and I've tried to imitate, but not just one person, a lot. So I don't know if I have one sound, because I like different things. And I think whatever you know touches my heart, I'm like, oh, okay, ooh, that's light. I'll be like, okay, cool, let's try and see if I can get to that fuller note. Yeah. So I sort of train myself. Mm -hmm. into singing at home and uh it's a lot of fun i can't lie i've learned to sing out loud with my mom in the kitchen cooking and my dad in the lounge and they're not even bothered you know mm -hmm. mom will come back and say oh baba you sound great <laughs> oh thanks mom you know yeah. and then i'll continue but it's really mostly just been like training uh informally at home but not really getting the proper proper training that i would like to get yes you know? Um, even in varsity, I did get training because I started off with the classical um, vocals. And like I said, I'm not a, a classical vocalist. But you do learn about the exercises and how to breathe mm. and all of those things. So, yes, the training was there, but not as much as I would have liked. Okay. Formally. Formally. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I understand you. Yeah. So, as you have been getting into the music industry what can you advise someone that wants to start into this career yeah oh because i'm a baby myself <laughs> yes difficult. but i really would say first of all know yourself mm. know what you want envision the life that you want for yourself envision the kind of music that you want to make most of the time it's the music I want to make is the music that I enjoy mm. I want people to listen to my music and be like oh 
uh huh, uh huh, and be you know growing at home with their family or their friends. It's the kind yes. of I want to make. So I think that also comes with like I said, being self aware of yourself. Um, you have to be who you are. Very much authentic. You have to, you have to be authentic because trust me, people are gonna come from different corners and tell you what they think you should be. Yeah. Now that's a vision they have of them of you. Yes. In their heads, in their minds. But yours is important also. Because if you do something that you don't want to do, the love dies. Because you're not happy, you're not you're not fulfilling your soul, you're not fulfilling fulfilling uh, the, the, the passion of music that you have. So you have to make sure that you are yourself and you stick to what you want to do. I think be open minded and go for every opportunity that you want to go to or go for, you know. Um, and you learn along the way. Nothing teaches you like experience. And that's what I'm also learning right now is that experience will teach you things that you, that you never knew. Yeah, definitely. Experience is the best teacher Absolutely. about certain concepts because there's one thing to sit down and study books or mm -hmm. read theory. about things, theory yes. or watch videos, yes. but for you to actively go out there and start performing mm -hmm. um, and so forth, it's, Practical. it's, it's definitely yeah. a new experience. And a person finds that, okay, I, I don't like performing in front of people, but I love creating videos. Yeah. So they can s develop a new space for themselves mm -hmm. to easily do that. So that's great. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So my next question to you is, you have recently entered Idol yes, South yes. Africa. Hey. And I'm sure that was a very nerve-wracking experience. And you, you've you taken some time to really think about the decision to enter. So how was the whole experience of going to Johannesburg, auditioning, and so forth? Whew. This part of my life is something else. I have always wanted to be an idol um, from probably even before it started here in South Africa. Yeah. I used to watch American Idol all the time. So by the time I got here, I was like, okay, uh-huh. An even closer opportunity. But I didn't feel like I was ready, you know, mentally, um, physically. I just felt like I'm not in a good space. I'm not ready for that, you know. But I'm watching, I'm learning, I'm taking notes, you know. And so I remember last year I decided, you know what, I want to end Idols. So... When I looked up the dates to enter, unfortunately, I found out that I was too late. So I was like, okay, cool, fine. I'll wait till next year. So this year, I made sure that by December, I was looking at the dates even. January came and the, you know, the dates opened. And then we were asked to send um, our you know, videos to audition. Mm -hmm. And I just decided, I'm just doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm nervous, of course. You know, um, so You're going there me. guns blazing. Literally, literally guns blazing. I don't care what's going on, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Even though it's so scary. Because you think about what could go wrong. And like I said before, I'm an overthinker. So you think of a thousand bad scenarios in your head, but that doesn't matter. Because one good scenario in your head is good enough to just delete all the negative thoughts. So I was like, no, nah, me, I'm doing this. I'm doing this now. So I auditioned, and then I got a call back that said, I'll be going through to Joburg, um, hopefully to get the golden ticket. So that was amazing. That whole experience, um, just really feeling like I'm living my dream, the mm -hmm. dream that I've been praying for, that I've always wanted to be in. Um, reading back on the little diaries I used to make growing up, there's some, everything I say there is about music. The yeah. prayers that, you know, that I pray to God, it's about music. It's, it's always been about that. And so to finally be living or starting to live my dream. Yes. Is, oh, such a beautiful thing. So it was very, very crazy, very nerve-wracking, scary, but oh, it was exhilarating. Mm -hmm. And it was, there's something that you, you, you can't describe. Like, you could never, ever feel that way doing anything else. If it's not your passion, you never feel like that. Yes. You know, it's that kind of feeling that's just like one in a million. It's out of this world. Exactly. It's you can't describe it, but yeah. it's just 
so amazing yeah. to be doing what you love doing. Yeah, absolutely. So it is a beautiful journey for me. I love, I love, I love every every step of the way. Mm. I love every step of the way and just continuing in different things as well. Mm. So yeah, it's been great. How was your reaction to everyone, you know, seeing you on national TV? <laughs> You getting your followers, yeah. your your, you know, your name is out there. Everyone knows who Linati is. Scary. <laughs> Yo, yeah, it was it was big for me, because obviously, uh, I knew that I entered, so I know what to expect. But having people call me, the text messages, the WhatsApp messages, the Instagram messages, the followers, you know, strangers that I don't even know was messaging me and congratulating me. Mm -hmm. That was really beautiful, you know. Um, and inside, I was very, very emotional about it. But I didn't even cry, which is weird, because I'm a big cry baby. <laughs> but I did not even cry, because I think I'm at a place where I'm just like, God, I'm literally here for everything you're doing. And I'm literally in awe. You know, you're just in shock. Yeah. I was in shock. I was like, I cannot believe this is real. And I, and I actually sat and I watched the episode and I was laughing at myself because I'm like, girl, is this really you? Is this <laughs> you? It was crazy. But, yeah. yo, it's, it's an amazing experience for me. Honestly, it's, it's, it was really overwhelming. The love was just so incredible. I cannot fathom myself how it's, it's, it's doing something for me. Mm. You know, it's reaffirming that this is actually what you should be doing. Look at the love that you're receiving. I know I'm not always going to get um, positive comments from people. And that, that comes with the line of work that I'm in, mm -hmm. I guess. Everything in life, actually. Nothing is always one You're going to have those people who want to put you down or oh, to invalidate your dreams. Yeah. But you sh people should never focus on that. They should focus on your why yeah. and the purpose of mm -hmm. why they are actually pursuing this career choice. Yeah. And with you, it's something that you've always wanted. So... Regardless if five people say, oh, she's not a good singer, you've got 20 people who are congratulating mm. you and who are here to support you throughout the journey. Yeah, absolutely. And I take those people who, who give me the love and support very seriously, but I use those who don't. As a motivation. Me. Exactly. It's a few. I mm. think everyone who is in this industry has to do that. I love how... We've taken something that is perceived to be negative yeah. and we've changed it into a positive. Because when people say things to break you down, you often feel that you're not enough and yeah. you invalu invalidate your dreams and the things you want to pursue. Yeah. But when we actually change it and say, no, man, what you are saying to me is your own opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. But I know in my heart, God knows, and mm. God is backing me throughout the journey that this mm. is something I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. So I'm going to take what you're saying to me, and I'm not going to give it power to mm -mm. overcome and mm. hurt me in the process. Mm. Rather, give it power to motivate me and mm -hmm. to push me over the edge. Not only to prove, not necessarily to prove to you mm. that I'm better than the words you've mm. said, but to just prove to yourself yeah. that regardless of what, what anyone says to you, that is not true. Yeah. And you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Definitely. You just, you just need me. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So being on national TV, how was the moment when you saw all of the judges like Randall, Unati, Somizi? How was that <laughs> moment? Yo, it was exciting. I was nervous, so I won't lie. And funny enough, after I sang, I thought, oh, I'm going home. I actually got that. You know, oh, but wow. I actually ended up getting four yeses, which again will show you that what's meant for you will be well, for you. Well, yeah. You know? Because sometimes we are our biggest critiques. Mm. So I might have thought, oh my gosh, I didn't have the notes like I wanted to. Because I know how I felt when I went home. Yes. But someone else was looking from the outside. It's like, oh, girl, okay. That was pretty good, you know. So walking in there and seeing the judges, Unachi just, Unachi and Samizi gave me the most vibes. Uh. They were like, yes, queen. I was like, yes. Like, they just, they amped me up. And I just felt like I could relax and be myself. Yeah. I didn't have to be so nervous, you know. So 
That was really a beautiful thing for me to meet them finally because I've seen them in Zulu. Yeah. But to actually see them and have a conversation with them, you know, and interact with them, that was really beautiful. Mm. So definitely something I'll never forget. They're all wonderful people. Mm. Um, of course, my favorite, I think, would be some music. <laughs> of course, it's Onati as well. She's dope. You know? Onati, I feel like yeah. Onati has such a, a, a pure soul yeah. with people that she encounters. Because I remember I yeah. did this other pageant before, and she was one of the presenters. Oh, nice. So we took pictures together mm. and so forth. And my mom yeah. used to teach her in primary school oh my god so like look at that circles yeah. are surrounding and you know it's it's so, it's so cool and she was very warm and welcoming and it's so awesome to see that yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's beautiful i love that i also remember yeah. so measy yeah i did a show for uh it's this his hair softened free mm -hmm. the fashion show and okay. he was the presenter there oh, look at and that. i remember walking on stage and yes. he just gave me the look and i was like yes Yo, the, I've like, captured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know when you connect them, you feel like you've known them forever. Definitely. Those two, I feel like that's what like we have in common with them. You know? Yeah. Because you met them, you saw the vibe, the aura, the energy, and like yes, and then yeah. and they gave that back, you know. Definitely. And that's so beautiful. Yeah. Imagine that. Hundred percent. Imagine that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so 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 excited to see what you have in store for us because yes. you are definitely putting PE on the map. Ooh. Eastern Cape yes, on the map. Yes, Because you're not yes. only from Tabecha, mm -hmm. you've also grown up in East London. Yeah. So it's the whole 360 of Eastern Cape. Absolutely. And you're really pushing your name, obviously, mm -hmm. and also putting us on the map. Because I feel like people believe that if you're from your Eastern Cape, you're not adequate. You, yeah. you don't have the skills or mm -hmm. you're not properly prepared mm -hmm. for the respective industry that you're yeah. getting to. But now that we see phenomenal people mm -hmm. putting the Eastern Cape name on the map, for example, Zosie exactly. and so forth. Exactly. So Mandela. definitely. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we, we see very prominent people putting our name on the map and as well as you, yeah. you know, being the youth in our community. Mm -hmm putting us out there is just absolutely amazing to see and i am so excited for your next journey that you'll be releasing music so just tell us a bit about that yeah. but obviously not giving too much yeah yeah i don't want to give up all my secrets <laughs> but um currently i'm working on my ep uh-huh which i will be dropping soon but of course i'm not going to give you guys an actual date it's a secret Okay. So, but soon, but soon. Um, obviously, I'll be letting you guys know on social media as well. You know, closer to the time. Mm -hmm. But your love and support will mean everything to me, and I'm just really excited to be creating an embodiment of my love. For music, yeah. You know, and just like creating love, because I think music for me is love. Mm. It makes me happy, and it makes me want to spread love. Mm. That's such a a weird thing, but that's how I feel about it, you know. So I'm really excited to be spreading my version of love, you know, through people's ears and hearts. You know, the way that I've been influenced, the way that I feel like music has touched me, mm. I want to be able to touch even just one person, mm. you know, and inspiring them. I'm sure that with your music, it will definitely speak to someone, yeah. you know. It will be, you've already been an inspiration to someone. Yo, that's big. Yeah. I, I don't take that lightly at all. Mm. That is big for me. That's, that's a blessing. I'm really grateful for that. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm so, so excited to hear more information about the EP. Uh -huh. So tell us which platforms can we find you? Uh -huh. So Instagram, firstly. Uh, my Instagram handle is Lini underscore Linati. So Lini with uh, L I N N Y, then my name, Linati. And then Facebook as well. I'm not really big on Facebook, but now I've got to be. Yeah. I've got to be. And then Twitter at some point. Definitely Twitter. Um, but yeah, all of these things, obviously, I'll share more on Instagram to let you guys know. Also, check out Facebook and also check out Twitter. Mm -hmm. So in due time, I will be releasing. Some beautiful music. I'm working on it currently, and I do have some songs. <laughs> but 
to me, being a perfectionist, I want to just give everything, you know, in, in good timing. Yes. And make sure it's like literally from beginning to end, mm -hmm. it's done, it's completed, and it sounds exactly as it should. And you represent me, and I love the music. Yes, so definitely. I absolutely want to take the time and and cultivate that. Not taking 10 years, no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this year's in the next couple of weeks. That's exciting, yeah. and I definitely believe that our listeners will tune in and yeah. <laughs> and see all that you are doing yeah. in the industry. So my next question to you is, where do you see yourself in five years' time from now? Ooh, five years time from now. Okay. So, in five years' time, I'd love to see myself maybe working on my third, maybe even fourth album. Uh huh. Yeah, I know that's quite ambitious, but I think definitely. But the uh, third out there, like in the universe. When you speak it, yeah. it's going to it's happen. Going to happen exactly. So I do see myself um, there making my my uh, my third or fourth album, and not just working on my music but other aspirations as well. So whether it's modeling, whether it's um, um, speaking, whether it's uh, You should definitely business. do modeling. You're gorgeous. Uh, thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I love modeling. I love walking. I love I love everything about it. It's it's amazing. It mm. feels like you're walking on on it's it's smoke. definitely a fun experience. It is, it is. And you know a lot about that. Yes. You know, because legs run the family. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, you definitely know a lot about that. So you know what I'm talking about, you know, when I say it's, it's it just feels amazing mm -hmm. to be able to do that. So I, I, I do want to do that as well. Maybe host a show. I love talking and a lot of nonsense at that. So <laughs> I want to have the chance to be able to speak to people and connect to people a lot more and just be in charge of my life. You know? Yes. And just having multiple streams of income being brand ambassador for companies or it's clothing line or it's a phone or it's a car whatever it is honestly if it's close to my heart and if it's something that I truly believe in I want to represent that mm -hmm. I want to be as authentic as, as possible so definitely I see that in my in my in the next five years and um, yeah just living my life being happy you know and just you know, being at peace yes you know? That's where I see myself. The babies and the husband can come later. I'll feel like <laughs> Otherwise, we're not rushing for that. Yeah. You know, but one day, you know, when the time's right. Definitely. Probably God will allow for that. Mm. Yeah. So thank you so much yes. for joining me today on the Youth Corner Show. I'm just going to ask you one sweet little favor. Oh, no. And <laughs> I know the listeners mm. and viewers would love to hear you sing us a little piece to hear your oh. angelic voice. Oh, can, my God. So can you please bless us with oh. that? Okay, okay. Not a problem. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of doing this, this one song that is really close to my heart. It's um, called Close to You by Mary Mary. Mm -hmm. They are two American sisters. American gospel singers actually and they were incredible but um, they've also inspired me in my growing up in music so this is one of the songs that just stuck to me so here it is guys and I hope you guys enjoy it <clears throat> I'm so dramatic okay <laughs> I try, but sometimes I fail, and now I realize that I need your help, cause I can't make it all by myself, I need you, 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 I should know by now, there's no way know how I could live my life without you still get caught up in myself and talk to you less and less and every time that
man I try to do my best Cause after all my mistakes I know that I have to change So I've put my life in your hands Oh cause I try And sometimes I fail And now I realize That I need your help Cause I can't make it all by myself I need you, 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 you And nobody wants to fall But we fall sometimes And you were there to catch it all Every time Look beyond all the things Cause you know I need Another chance to get it right You forgive me cause I try And sometimes I fail And now I realize That I need your help Cause I can't make it All by myself I need you with your angelic voice and I believe that the viewers and the listeners are just so happy for you and what you're bringing to the industry I'm so excited oh my gosh thank you so much thank you so much to me and thank you for having me here today it's such a beautiful opportunity and I was I was very excited to be here and I'm honored to be here so thank you guys for having me I had an amazing time thank you so much all right then thank you so much Lenati for joining us today yeah. and to our lovely listeners of the youth corner show with C Tampago the time now is 14 minutes to 4 and this is where we end the show unfortunately yeah. between me and Lenati once again thank you so much for joining in my show and if you guys have any additional questions or topics you would like us to cover, please do send us a Facebook message or contact us via our website. 